Uh, greetings and welcome to Educate. Today we're going to be talking about the atmosphere, the basic introduction. Uh, so how do we define an atmosphere or what is the atmosphere? So basically the atmosphere is just the layer of gases that surround the earth. So it means it surrounds the earth. So that's the basic definition of the atmosphere. So it's just a layer of certain gases that are surrounding the earth. So it means the atmosphere has got certain composition. So let's see what, what is composed in the atmosphere or what do we find in the atmosphere. So we find the following. We find solids, we find liquids and gas. So these are the basic properties of matter, which is the solid state, the liquid and the gaseous state. So in the atmosphere, uh, in the solid form, we find dust particles and salt crystals. So it means these are solids. These are solids that are found in the atmosphere. And then the liquid part of the atmosphere is the water in form of clouds. So it's the water in form of clouds. So this means that the clouds are in the atmosphere or the clouds are part of the atmosphere and they contain water inside them. That is why rain occurs. And then we've got the gaseous, the, the gaseous part of the atmosphere, which is composed of three main gases, which is nitrogen which which composes 78 percent of the gases in the atmosphere and then oxygen which composes 21 percent in the atmosphere and then argon which composes one percent of the gaseous state in the atmosphere so nitrogen can be used for plant growth in form of nitrate but then we're not really going to focus on that and then oxygen is used for respiration Yes, so that's basically the gases that we find composing the atmosphere. So let's look at the structure or how does the atmosphere look. So you can see that the atmosphere has got these four main layers. So these four main layers start here uh, at the troposphere. This is the first layer, the troposphere. You can see that here they've indicated an airplane flying in the troposphere to the stratosphere and then here we find the stratosphere this is the second layer in the atmosphere and then we find the mesosphere this is the third layer and then we lastly find the thermosphere so the thermosphere is basically composed of certain elements that makes it able to carry satellites as indicated in in the diagram so let us continue to layer number one. So, first of all, the troposphere is the layer that is the closest to the Earth. As you can see that in the diagram, compared to all other layers, the troposphere is more closer to the Earth, is more closer to the Earth compared to all those other four layers in the atmosphere. So, this layer is the closest to the Earth, and then it is 8 to 16 kilometers thick so it means it is it has got this thickness of about 8 to 16 kilometers here so it means it's 8 8 to 16 kilometers so this tells you about the thickness or how thick this layer of the atmosphere is and then uh, 8 kilometers poles and 16 kilometers the equator and then it contains all the gases which are essential for life so it means the troposphere contain the gases that makes us able to live so there are certain gases that are essential for life by essential it means that they, we, we really need them to maintain our life so these gases are essential for life so it contains all weather conditions so it means we can have dry weather conditions we can have hot weather conditions all the weather conditions as mentioned here and then the last point is says temperatures decrease temperatures decrease in the troposphere so now we've already covered the basic properties of this layer of the atmosphere which is the troposphere which is the closest or the first layer we find in the atmosphere and then now we go to layer two which is the stratosphere so the stratosphere contains the layer of ozone ozone which is composed of three oxygens as mentioned there but then we're not really going to go deep exactly what or what is the ozone and its functions 
But then this is telling you that there's a layer that is found here. This is the stratosphere. There's a layer that is found here, which is called ozone. Ozone is composed of three oxygens. That is why it is ind indicated with O and a subscript 3. So ozone absorbs all the ultraviolet rays, UV rays from the sun. Well, we're not really going to go deeper on that because we still have to make a video on ozone. So let's go to layer number three, which is the mesosphere. So let's try to locate the mesosphere in this diagram. Where in the world is the mesosphere? It's here. This is the third layer from the first layer from, from, from the earth is the third layer and the atmosphere so the mesosphere the layer is very cold so they tell you that the layer is very cold it means we can find uh, condi weather conditions that in includes the extreme coldness so it prevents dust and rocks from space from entering the lower layers of the atmosphere so the mesosphere prevents the dust and rocks from the space so it means from space there are certain dust and rocks that come or that that, that 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 just fall to the other layers of the atmosphere but then because there's the mesosphere the mesosphere is able to prevent the dust and the rocks from space from entering the lower layers of the atmosphere so this tells you a lot about the space which contains dust and rocks and then the temperature decreases and then air is thin and fewer molecules can absorb incoming radiation from the sun. So this incoming radiation from the sun is the same radiation we found here, which is saying UV. But then we'll focus on that on another video exactly. What is the, uh, the incoming radiation from the sun? So the mesosphere, the air is thin. So it means the air is thin and fewer molecules can absorb the incoming radiation from the sun remember that the stratosphere contains the ozone which can absorb all the ultraviolet rays that's the absorption of all of them but then in the mesosphere there is only a few molecules that can absorb the incoming uv radiation and then we go to the last layer which is the thermosphere so the thermosphere is the layer furthest from the earth so it means it is the layer that is the most far apart from the earth so let, 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 let's see where is it so you can see this is the earth here this is the earth so here is the, the the thermosphere so this thermosphere is the furthest layer compared to all other layers because you can see that you can assume by the distance that this is the furthest according to the diagram so the thermosphere here is the layer that is the furthest from the earth so this layer absorbs the sun's harmful x-rays and ultraviolet rays so this one does not only absorb the ultraviolet rays compared to the stratosphere but then it can absorb the x-rays from the sun so and then the temperature increases so it means it has got an increased temperature or the temperature is high so it means it is the hottest or the temperature is high so that is the basic introduction to the atmosphere and the layers found in it thank you for watching stay tuned and please subscribe uh,